Skylar Cole singing the national anthem before today's contest. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. In slow motion, yeah I feel like an astronaut in the ocean Ay, What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb You can call that mental freeze When these people talk too much Put that in slow motion, yeah I feel like an astronaut in the ocean What you know about rolling And welcome to 2K Sports For another edition of NBA Basketball with Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson. We'll be hearing from Allie LaForce from the sideline. A moment here to see the numbers for Franz Wagner. And for an idea of where his offense is right now, take a look at his true shooting percentage decreasing over the last five games. He desperately needs to find his stroke tonight. Just about ready to get this one started. First, let's hear from Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, Bam and Abayo grew up with his mom in a single wide trailer. He said, quote, I watched her struggle. And as I got older, I started thinking she doesn't deserve this. My whole devotion became getting her out of that trailer. And Brian, with this max extension in 2020, he said, quote, knowing that she's set for life is such a stress reliever. Great story, Allie. Thanks. And this matchup, a little bit of a rarity now, Grant. Neither team in a hurry to get in transition. Yeah, B.A., these teams have almost a throwback style to how they play. They don't want to get up and down and play fast. They want to go slow, and that takes players who have patience and discipline. Tonight will be a tactical battle. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. On the wing, it'll be Hero and Butler. Am Adebayo is out there with Caleb Martin. And it's Lowry in at the point. And for Orlando, Harris at the two with Wagner playing the three. Bancaro and Carter Jr. are down low. And it's Fultz in at the one. Now here's Fultz. And here's Harris outside. They get it back. There's the three. Another miss by Harris. And here's Miami. 
here's Butler outside. The putback. It's good on the putback. Just doesn't feel like Bam Adebayo is 6'9". He covers so much ground. Orlando has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Lowry against Fultz. Here's Wagner. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. And here's Butler outside. Gets a second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Yeah, pretty dependable from the corner three spot. Butler only fires those threes he feels comfortable taking. We played just over a minute here in the first. Here's Van Carroll. Butler covering. Van Carroll no good. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. And here's Butler outside. It's rebounded by Wagner. The Magic have gone one of four to begin this one. Pass to Fultz. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Here's Van Caro. And it's blocked by Martin. And so it looks like it'll be Orlando's ball still. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Shot clock at six. The Magic need to put one up here. For three, here's Harris. No good that time. And Miami will go the other way with it. And, Brent, you look at Miami's playoff pedigree. They've made the Eastern Conference Finals six times over the last 12 years. Yeah, and those two championships they had in that 12-year period were square on the shoulders of their big three that they put together. But I don't see them slowing down when it comes to reloading. This team knows how to do it well. And there's the call. It's on Bam Adebayo. That's his first foul. First team foul. Miami on D. Pass to Ben Carroll. Takes the three. And the Magic again can't hit. The Heat have gone two for five here in the first. Here's Butler. And the 17 footer goes down. Butler's got five points. Well, Jimmy Butler's playing the smart game right here. Patient and disciplined. That's a nice mid range jumper. And Wagner gets it to go. Defensively, have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. The Heat with the lead. Now here's Lowry. A key piece to their offense. Putting up 12 points a game. And he gets it to go. Lowry ready for the attack there. And he saw that opening and took it. Bolts against Lowry. And it's blocked by Martin. against Butler and that comes off the assist by Lowry Butler's gotten his third basket of the night <laughs> an outstanding first quarter from the field outside Fultz oh and that one no question powered it down just great offense the screen freeing him up for the slam Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, we'll have to settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Now here's Harris. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Bolts against Lowry. Fades away. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got four rebounds in the game. Butler with the ball. Barker picks him up. And it's Butler with the jam. Man, way over the defenses. Jimmy Butler gets some air time. Orlando has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Out to Harris. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by the Heat. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. Adebayo, that's good. Adebayo's got his second bucket of the night. And maybe that's why he's nicknamed Bam. Taking contact, Bam Bam. 
Butler with a steal. By himself. And it's Butler with the jam. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. Well, dominant so far. That's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contributions. And it's the Magic with the ball. After the basket by Miami. Back to Fultz. Five to shoot. Walker on the wing. Launches it. Adebayo grabs the board. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's Butler. There's the drive. Oh, misses the dunk. That is a rarity. When he takes flight, he usually hammers it home. Here's Wagner. And the layup is good off the glass. Wagner's got seven points. Now another view of that incredible mobile one drive. Oh, I love the mindset to get at the rim right there. He knows they're down and wants to spark a comeback. Baseline try. Butler with the bucket. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Here's Wagner. After the basket by Miami. Let's the three fly. Here's Carter. And the layup falls. I mean, the second effort from Carter Jr., real nice motor on this guy. Here's Lowry. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Lowry's gotten his second bucket of the game. Lowry against Fultz. Orlando again with the bucket. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Orlando trailing here. Leader of the 2019 Raptors championship team, Kyle Lowry, winning in those finals as the point guard that just took his career and confidence to another level. Adebayo against Carter. Bio with the three. He's got seven. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Orlando calls timeout. A line change here for Orlando. And the Heat making a change here. And looking at overall steal numbers, here are the teams that continue to wreak havoc. The Heat in second. This team will punish you for sloppy ball control, no question. They've got a lot of fast-handed guys just waiting to take advantage. And here are the Magic now. A 12-point game. They're coming off a win against the Nuggets. They had a lot of breaks go their way in that game. And hey, they cashed in when they could. Yeah, the last game, it felt like they were just feeding off of what they were doing defensively, forcing a lot of those turnovers. And that helps build your defensive confidence. Ross. Oladipo with the rebound. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. 
doesn't miss too many open looks from there. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, I know you spent a lot of your career in Orlando. What are your favorite memories of that time? None, B.A. You know I was hurt the entire time while I was in Orlando. No, but in all seriousness, great people, great city, and it was fun to see young guys like Jameer Nelson and Dwight Howard get drafted and emerge as great players and leaders for their ball club. The free throw drops for Oladipo. And some surprise teams that started out hot have not cooled down. Their fans are wondering if this is the new normal. Well, B.A., it's easy for fans to jump to that conclusion. But look, the bottom line is you can't look too far ahead. You've got to stay in the moment and enjoy the ride. I wish I had done more of that when I was playing. And Grant, no team better than Miami in developing undrafted prospects. I mean, for key roles, too. If you look at last year's playoffs, Struess, Martin, Vincent, Robinson. It's allowed Miami to stay on top in a salary cap driven league. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Well, a missed box out and an easy tip in, but it's because of the activity as the ball is going up, finding yourself in the right spot, just using some effort. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Miami's gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. To the inside. It's stolen. Anthony against Lowry. Pass to Ross. Here's the three. And it's Martin with the rebound. And here's Miami. They lead by 14. Their last encounter in Miami. I love the defensive pressure they created in their last meeting. Forcing turnovers and keeping the offense off kilter. The turnover margin was well within their favor, and you have to point to that ferocious D they played as the biggest factor in that win. Now here's Oladipo. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Now such a good score on the inside, finding just a bit of space, and then Oladipo confident to knock that one in. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Going inside. And it's Oladipo finishing it off. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. The three from Suggs. Nails it from beyond the arc. Suggs has got five points. Well, that's a shot you can hit if you give it to him. You need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. And there it is for him. And the Heat lead by 17. And you make the next pass. Nice job by Lowry there. Anthony against Lowry. Anthony misses. Now Oladipo. Ten points for him. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. To the paint. Here's Suggs. Sinks his third bucket. He's three for six now. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. And here are the Heat now. 17-point game. And it's Oladipo finishing it off. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Now here's Anthony. 17 points for him. Last game against Denver. Two minutes remaining. Oladipo outside. Over Suggs. And again, Victor Oladipo. He's got 16. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Here's Suggs. Now shooting 50% for the game. He's four for eight. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Here's Oladipo. Ooh, it's slammed in by Oladipo. Yeah, 77%. That's a good number, isn't it? Once he gets cooking, his team's going to start finding a bit more confidence around him. And 
for the Magic. They're shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. The three from Suggs. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Oladipo, double team. Baseline jumper. Second chance shot. The shot, no good. Now Orlando takes it the other way. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Pass to Wagner. Fires the three. Rebound by the Heat. This game following their win against the Rockets. Well, their performance wasn't pretty to watch. But in the end, all that matters is what's on the scoreboard. So they'll take that win. Yeah, Oladipo has had some highlight dunks in his career. There's another one. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Suggs. Three-pointer. Struess grabs the miss. There's 38 seconds left in the opening quarter. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. After the outside. Ross with it. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Six on the shot clock. Anthony misses. And here's Martin. And it's Oladipo finishing it off. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Some sick ball skills displayed right there. And he's not the guy you expect to pull that off. Victor Oladipo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Heat. Oh, what a corner. He was absolutely on fire offensively. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Heat? Well, they found their offensive openings in the mid-range, and they continue to find ways to open up those jump shot opportunities. Well, one thing that's noticeable is just tremendous energy from everybody, and they put that into their transition play. All that hustle is paying off. Isaac in at the four with Carter Jr. playing the five. Gary Harris out there with Markel Fultz. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Magic. And you watch Tyler Hero night in, night out, and he brings a fearlessness to the game. And blocked with his palm. What a defensive play. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Here's Butler. Here's Adebayo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Adebayo's got nine. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Some players walk the line between confidence and arrogance. What do you think about Hero, Brent? Well, I think the interesting stuff, B.A., was after a year of success and what happened in the bubble, might have been some humbling times and humbling games for him that have put him back on the right track. And right now, he's playing with a ton of confidence that's helping out his teammates. And it's Butler who slams it down. Oh, Jimmy, that was impressive. Here's Orlando. Well, they've got the Bulls ahead of them next in Chicago. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. Down low. Here's Isaac. And the dunk by Isaac. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Butler with the ball. Fultz picks him up. And he drops it in from the low post. 18 points for him. Defense had the right idea there, but maybe not enough time in the weight room. Butler right through them. Inside. And the dunk by Isaac. Woo! <laughs> B.A., that's lit. Ferocious all the way. Man, that was good. Adebayo. And finished off by Adebayo. 
Watch out when Adebayo gets vertical. That's a big bam. The Magic have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Picked by Carter. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Magic ball. And you know, offense has been the problem for the Magic. They're the bottom of the league for several years now. Lack of efficiency for extended stretches. And so he hits the technical free throw. And for the Magic, worst offensive rating in 2022. Yeah, and the second worst rating in 2021 as well. It's an issue they have been trying to address. It's limited their ability to get back into the playoffs. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Let's take a quick moment to bring up the shooting guards who have been lighting it up from three-point range over the last ten games. Well, you look at Harris. He is downright lethal from distance, ranking first in the league in three-point percentage. It's not surprising that he's doing damage from deep. Guys at his position are asked to make this a staple of their offensive arsenal, and he's doing exactly this. And Orlando has possession. Isaac outside, pass to Fultz, just five on the clock. It's hauled in by the Heat. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And down it goes, two points. He means business. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Well, he's grabbed the tea and the blanket because he's putting this one to bed. And the basket is good. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Goes up on the wing. Here's Adebayo. Orlando grabs the miss. Carter's got rebound number five here tonight. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, guys, it's a new day in Orlando. Magic head coach Jamal Mosley continues to lay the foundation for the team they want to be. A, quote, tough-talking, tight-together defensive team that plays offensively with pace, space, and the pass. Brian, say that five times fast. Yeah, well done, Allie. Thank you. Uh, it'll be fun to watch him build. Now here's Butler. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. And Butler with the ball up in the air just sniffs that one out. He goes in and rips it down. Fultz passes to Carter. To the middle. Here's Isaac. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. The officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. You know, in baseball, Graham, they have a term, a five-tool player. In the NBA these days, it's similar. You need those well-rounded players to succeed. Oh, I like the baseball reference, but you're spot on, B.A. It's all about bringing versatility to the game. Players that can shoot, pass, dribble, defend, and rebound. And I'll throw it even in there, lead and play selfless basketball. Those kind of guys that can do it all, that's a recipe for success in the NBA.
That free throw good from Isaac. Well, Grant, in the pace and space era of the NBA, it seems like the rate of free throws league-wide has declined dramatically. Yeah, I love that, B.A. It keeps the game going. There's a flow to the game, and we like it as broadcasters, and you know the fans love it as well. So I hope the league will continue on this trend. Both free throws good from Isaac. Miami's gone three of six from deep so far. Here's Butler. Unable to get that one. Now Orlando takes it the other way. Here's Houston. Pass to Fultz. Bockers checked in for Orlando. Second team foul. Coming on to the floor for your magic, Franz Wagner. Here's Houston. He's guarded by Hero. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Orlando Magic. On Monday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Chicago Bulls. And then on Tuesday, they're off to Toronto to face off with the Raptors. And for that game against the Pacers, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more even pairing in the league. That one promises to be a really closely fought battle. A good job by Tyler just finding the open teammate and showing some good awareness. 13 feet out. Fultz can't get it to go. The Heat have gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. And here's Butler outside. And the Heat, another three. I don't think the defense expected Jimmy Butler to rise up from there. He can do that. And there's a three-second call. This one on the defense. Magic ball. So much has been given by Jimmy Butler over the years. Hard to believe it took him a little while to make his mark early in his career. And the technical free throw is good. And Butler didn't get selected until the last pick of the 2011 draft. Brent, a lot of teams regret passing on him. Yeah, you can say that again, B.A. Once he did get the chance to play, it did not take long to see just how special Jimmy Butler could be. By his third year, he led the league in minutes, and he's just a guy you always want on the floor. Fultz finds Carter. Oh, great D that time from Adebayo. Miami has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. From downtown, and again, Miami with a triple. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Now here's Fultz. In his last outing, eight points for him. Here's Van Carroll. Butler covering. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Second personal foul. That's on Jimmy Butler. For a young player, Bancaro has tremendous footwork in the post. He stays in balance and puts defenders in awkward spots. for two. First free throw is good. There aren't many rookies that can carry an offense. Bancaro has the chops to do it, and he will keep coming right at you. He's perfect from the line this time. Offensively, Bancaro is a difference maker, not just with the talent, but with his relentless approach. Butler, good. Jimmy Butler. Butler's got 11 here in the quarter alone. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. 
into the paint. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Grant, you watch Ben Carroll. He's got a rare mix of moves for a big man. Yeah, B.A., the perfect combination of size, strength, and skill. Crosses up defenders well, spin moves, excellent body control, and he uses his body to shield the ball when he's driving through the lane. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Butler's shot is good. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Now Fultz, an important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. And it's Butler who slams it down. And potentially the switch is flipped here for Jimmy Butler to take over and dominate in this one. Outside Fultz. Here's Ben Carroll. An 11-point game for him in the win against Denver. Relentless on the glass. Boards are largely about how much you want it. He throws it down with two hands. You know he won't mess that up. Not this guy. He is a big-time finisher. Here's Adebayo. Orlando grabs the miss. Carter's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Fultz. Back to Wagner. Ooh, power down with both hands. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. And it's in there. Adebayo's got nine points in the quarter. Now that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Here's Wagner. And give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. They've struggled, but hey. You cannot lay it at his feet. Offensively, he's getting it done. Miami has gotten 21 points so far from three-point land. They're 7 of 10. Here's Vincent. And again, Miami with a triple. Feels like Jimmy Butler is getting better on how he finds the open teammates, really elevating his playmaking skills. Now here's Fultz. He's closely guarded. at six. Here's Ben Carroll. Butler covering. Step back on that one and let it fly. Ben Carroll's got six. Now this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Here's Hero. And Miami again with the bucket. Hero can beat his opponents from all over the floor. He can get that shot off so quick. Wagner, the pass to Carter. Here's Houston. Back to Carter. Shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. Carter's got his third bucket of the night. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Slowly building up steam. Hit one from range in the first. He's hit two here in the second. Outside Fultz, and there's a defensive three-second call. At the line for the man, Ron Wagner. One shot. Franz Wagner, one of the surprises of the 2021 rookie class. He had a great rookie campaign, one of a handful of terrific rookies. So Miami ends up going with a new group. Ross passes to Wagner. To the right side, takes a three. Orlando gets it back. 
And Wagner gets it to go. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. Outside Robinson. And he drives in. And a big finish by Robinson. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. And Wagner wasn't viewed as an exciting selection. He's been terrific, Grant. B.A., you know, he finds ways to contribute each game. You knew he'd be a solid shooter out of the gate, but he also has a great touch in and around the paint to be a threat inside. Now here's Lowry. Here's Oladipo. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. The assist. Lowry's got eight assists here tonight. Shot selection paying off there. Patience by Oladipo and then knocks it down from the perimeter. Ross can't get it to go. And for the Heat, their shooting has been incredible. 72%. And the Heat, another three. And throughout his career, Lowry's been a threat from that area. Orlando's gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Anthony with it. And he might not be the biggest guy on the court, but Cole Anthony is explosive, Greg. He is. I mean, he surprises you with how much lift he gets. Fearless when he's going at the rim. He's caught a number of defenders off guard with that burst. Free throw drops for Anthony. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Suggs is checked in for Wagner. And Anthony drops them both. There's a minute 47 left in the second. Here's Oladipo. Bull grabs the board. Orlando shooting about 43% in this one. Here's Suggs. An 11-point game for him in the win against Denver. Three-pointer, Anthony. Rebound by the Heat. Next up on the schedule, the Nuggets, a home game. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by Oladipo. Pass to Anthony. Here's Suggs. Out to Anthony. Fires from deep. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. Kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession. And the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. Connects from downtown. Lowry's got six points in the quarter. Hard to win games when you allow clean looks from the perimeter. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first half. Martin against Anthony. Pass to Ross. Puts up a three. And again, it's Orlando with a three. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. The shot by Oladipo, no good. Orlando has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by Lowry. Anthony outside. Six to shoot. The three from Suggs. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got a rebound number five here tonight. And at the buzzer, count it. Just textbook. Kept his cool and waited for his shot. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. And so it's the Miami Heat. Don't see too many 39-point leads in the NBA. Incredible. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. Back to the game after this break.
Welcome, everybody. The first half is in the books, and guys, how about Jimmy Butler? Man alive. Sometimes you show up to the game, and you just feel it, Ernie. Like, that's how it looked tonight, showing the range and doing it consistently. I know I'm feeling it. What about you, Kenny? Yeah, I'm feeling it. I don't know what it is, but I feel it. And moving on, let's take a peek at how the East is shaping up here in the midseason. You take a look at the Heat, they stayed in the mix. A few people predicted they might regress. Clearly, that hasn't been the case. They continue to hum along. It'll be interesting to see how they close out this year. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It has been one outstanding game from Jimmy Butler. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And on the floor for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Lowry and Hero are the backcourt. Caleb Martin out there with Bam Adebayo. And it's Butler in at the small forward position. Kyle Lowry, two shots. And he knocks down the first one. The thing that makes Kyle Lowry so exceptional and, and special for the role that he plays is he can create offense for himself, he can create offense for his teammates, and he winds those in so seamlessly. Both free throws good from Lowry. Well, the Magic's shooting at about 44% so far. Colts against Lowry. And Kyle Lowry is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. First team foul. And here's Harris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Came out of bio just playing hard on defense, contesting shots and staying active. Sinks that one from the post. And when you've got your opponent down, you don't want to take your foot off the pedal. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. So it's Orlando now. After the basket by Miami. You love the show of force from Carter Jr. He's not messing around when he gets the ball down there. Here's Adebayo. That's good. And so Lowry with the assist. Lowry's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Butler against Wagner. Tipped away. And here we go. The Heat fast break. Shoots. And again, it's Miami converting. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. Wagner on the wing. Launches a three. And no good. The Heat go the other way with it. Butler on the wing. Defended by Wagner. And it's Butler with the jam. Well, they're clicking on all cylinders right now beginning to pull away. The well, game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together. Right now, their chemistry is something to be admired. Now here's Fultz. Pass to Ben Carroll. 
Carter, a screen on Martin. Clock at six. Wagner with it. Gets it to go from the corner. Wagner's got 17. Already an excellent passer at his position. Ben Carroll just loves showing off his court vision. Lowry, no good. When you're that open, do you really need to go with the leaner? Outside Fultz. No luck on that one. Excellent D there from Hero. Out of bio against Fultz. Offline with a three. For Orlando, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Pretty good instincts right there from Harris. He sees the defense moving, and then he just spotted the open guy. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Jimmy Butler's focus is all on team success. In fact, his agent said whenever he called Jimmy to congratulate him on personal accolades, like All-NBA Team, for example, Jimmy hangs up in his face before he can finish the sentence. Brian for Butler, there's only one prize that really matters. Yeah, he's a rare breed, Allie, for sure. Thanks for that. For Miami, they've gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Puts one up from 19. Yes, it's good. Martin's got his second basket. Their success from mid-range has really set them apart today. Fultz with it. Picked up by Lowry. Fultz against Lowry. Pass to Carter. To the inside. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Kyle Lowry. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Rebound by the Magic. Carter's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Fultz. And too long on the shot. Yeah, just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Well, an all-star appearance for Bam Adebayo in 2020. Grant, you think he can get back there? No doubt. I mean, I think the bigger issue is we've seen his numbers taper off just in the postseason. Can he reverse that and bring his best when it matters most? His ability to shoot off the catch is a big plus. Van Carroll has quick reactions, a really versatile score. Butler, good. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Uncovered. And Wagner gets it to go on the assist by Fultz. Wagner's got 21 points in the game. From the line. Out to Lowry. Let's go with a three. And it's Harris with the rebound. Magic shooting pretty well at 45%. That's to Fultz. Wagner outside. The three is up. Knocks it down from distance. Wagner's got nine points now in the second half. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Butler can't get it to go. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Wagner with it. Now guarded by Butler. Here's Van Carroll. And a nice finish on the layup. Van Carroll's got 10 points. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Here's Lowry. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. The Magic have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Harris passes to Wagner. Crafty move. And it's Martin with the rebound. Martin's got six rebounds now in the game. Over Harris. The offensive rebound. And finished off by Adebayo. And the coaching staff continues to impress upon Bam to keep exploring all of his offensive talents. His confidence sky high. Outside Fultz. Pass to Ben Carroll. Now here's Carter. Adebayo grabs the board. Adebayo's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. 
Up and over Carter. Out of bio. No good. Orlando has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Wagner, the pass to Fultz. Here's Bancaro. He's guarded by Martin. Bancaro, no good. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Adebayo. Here's Butler. And the shot's good. Jimmy Butler. Butler's got 40 points. Uh, with the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. Now here's Fultz. Pass to Ben Carroll. And here's Wagner. Fires the three. Trains the triple. Wagner's got 12 points now in the quarter. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Martin with the bucket. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Now here's Wagner. He's got 27. And Carroll. And Hero grabs the board. Hero's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Martin. And the Heat, another three. Well, nice vision on that pass from Hero, and he put the ball right in the shooting pocket. Fultz with it, picked up by Lowry. Fultz passes to Carter. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Miami's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Here's Adebayo. And that one hits the back iron. And for the Magic, they're shooting at a 44% clip in the third. Harris on the wing. 4-3. The shot is good. Fultz making the play. Harris has got his first three points of the game. And the confidence that Gary Harris is playing with right now, he is ready to shoot once that ball touches his mids. Lowry, no good. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Harris outside from the arc. And it's slammed in by Carter. Great game for him. Double-double now. I like how aware Gary Harris is right there. Solid at firing passes to his teammates off the pick and roll. Good heads up there. Here's Butler. And there's the call. It's on Bam out of bio. That'll be a second foul of the game. So Miami ends up going with a new group. Substitution on the court. Orlando has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. After the outside, Isaac for three. On target from range. Isaac's got nine. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. The leaner. Benson can't hit. Here's Orlando. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Pass to Anthony. And Anthony slams it in. Lead passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. Now here's Oladipo. He's guarded closely. No good on the shot. Orlando's gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Isaac in the post. And a dunk by Isaac. Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. And the Heat shooting the rock at a 46% rate since the start of the third. Oladipo. Ooh, it's slammed in by Oladipo. Well, you combine quickness and explosiveness for Victor Oladipo on display right there. Tough to contain. And for the Magic, they're shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Now Anthony. He's got nine. The three from Suggs. Benson grabs a miss. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Ross. 
And it's Miami with a rebound. Robinson with it. Inside. And it's blocked by Isaac. Now here's Anthony. Defense is right there. Miami foul. Over the course of the last month, here are the NBA's best free throw shooting team for Miami. And looking at last month, this team really got it done from a charity strike. Whenever you foul them, they made sure to make you pay for that mistake. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. It's pizza time. Let's get a magic pair. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Anthony. He gets them both. Here's Vincent. He's got six. Isaac covering. Shoots from the baseline. The shot won't fall. Let's be honest. That's not a shot he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot often. Here's Anthony. They get it back. And they've won the battle on the board so far, and the scoreboard reflects that. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebounding. Outside Robinson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Miami. Robinson. At the line for two. Free throw good, Robinson. So he makes both from the line. 
There's 47 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Suggs. He's guarded by Oladipo. That just strains the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Miami timeout. There's 39 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Here's Oladipo. And, yep, it's good. Oladipo's got four points this quarter. Good job by Victor on that one, scoring despite getting whacked. I love how he maintained his balance on that shot. The three from Suggs. He drops it from range in full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. 26 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Oladipo. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Oladipo's got 32 points. And this is why the coach is telling him, stay up on Victor, otherwise he's going to pull it. Oladipo knocks one down. Suggs with the bucket. That's nice vision there. You see that pass? You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Benson can't hit. Here's Suggs. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist from Suggs. Anthony's got 13. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Jimmy Butler getting it done for Miami. And he's recorded his season high in points and hopes to add on as the game continues. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. It's the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. They've got Wagner, Jalen Suggs out there with Terrence Ross. Then there's Jonathan Isaac. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Magic. Tries a 10-footer. Wagner. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things. Playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. 
It's hauled in by the Magic. Wagner's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Suggs. Pass to Wagner. This one for three. Haslam with a rebound. The Heat shooting it at 61%. A terrific average over Suggs. The shot by Haslam. No good. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. Robinson with the block. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. That one's wide left. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Houston. They get the rebound. Isaac for three. And once again, off the mark by Orlando. Here's Haslam. Fires it from 18. The rebound by Ross. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. The three from Suggs. Orlando gets it back. And it's Wagner missing. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. And again, the Heat missing. Orlando's gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Pass to Ross. The three ball. And he can't get that one. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. He shoots it. Again, the Heat misses. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. And the dunk by Isaac. Come on, B.A. He sure can ride. Grant, that's as good as it gets. One of the best in the Miami, league. Miami. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Man, please give a big round of applause for your Magic Youth Dance Team. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. You know, some guys aren't the same player on the road. Not this guy. He loves sticking it to an opposing crowd. And it only adds fuel to his fire. The Heat have gotten nothing to go so far in the fourth. They're 0 for 6. To end the drought! It's hauled in by Isaac. 
Isaac's got four rebounds in the game. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Suggs. Wagner in the high post. Shot clock at six. He can't hit that time. But his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Down low. Here's Isaac. Drops in the layup for two. Isaac's got nine points now in the second half. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Orlando has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. To the middle. And it's Wagner missing. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Leans from outside. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Wagner's got rebound number eight now. To the inside. And the dunk by Isaac. Elevates and detonates the one-hand stuff. Picture perfect. Wing shot on the way. And he gets the jumper to drop. And Orlando shooting at 31% here in this fourth quarter. Well, Grant, we're seeing players extend their careers. Often, diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day, and how important do you think that is now? It's so important. The food you put into your body, the rest, the recovery, uh, all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. Can't blame them. Just trying to take what the defense allows. No one near him. The shot, no good. And Miami will go the other way with it. Here's Haslam. It's hauled in by Isaac. Isaac's got rebound number seven tonight. Pass to Hampton. Wagner outside. The three. Knocks it down from the distance. Wagner's got five points in the quarter. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. The things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Orlando has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Here's Suggs. Isaac outside. Pass to Houston. Here's Wagner. The shot's good. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Count it for Vincent. Vincent. They're definitely opting for the mid-range jumpers, and it's working. And Orlando shooting the rock well at 46%. Here's Suggs. From 11 feet away, they grab their own miss. Count it. Good. Suggs has got 19 points. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over.
The Magic making a switch here. Wagner's checked in. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Oladipo. And they get it back. Hard work on the glass gives them back the ball, and they get to milk a little clock here. You'd like to see more effective ball movement there. Maybe they can find a way to establish some rhythm in the next few possessions with the extra pass. Suggs with the bucket. Well, he now has four three-pointers this game, guys. Two in each half. He's really spacing out the floor for his teammates. Here's Oladipo. It's rebounded by Wagner. The Magic shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Inside, Robinson with a steal. Take it away! Pass to Wagner from six feet away. And Orlando again with the bucket. There's just no reason to give him inside position. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's it's a wrap. The 11-footer. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Orlando shooting about 47%. A nice number. And here's Wagner. Here's Suggs. And another inductee into the 2022 Hall of Fame, All-Star Tim Hardaway. Brent, you were a teammate of his for a little while. Any recollections? B.A., if I go back to Tim Hardaway, I don't think about my time in Miami, which was a cup of coffee for me. I, I go back to my college days, and I had the chance to go home to the Bay Area and be in Oakland in the summertime. And Chris Mullen, Mitch Richmond, and one Tim Hardaway Hall of Famer invited me into that gym to work out in the summer. So you talk about a genuine thrill to be on the summer floor with Run TMC. What a treat. Here's Oladipo. The Magic making their last shot. Oladipo, a guy who can live at the line with his power and explosiveness around the glass. Shooting for Miami. Victor Oladipo taking two shots. Drops the first. Good on both. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. And the Magic with possession. Now here's Fultz. Pass to Van Carroll. Outside for Fultz. Harris on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Robinson with the block. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game is going. Wagner. And the game is growing by leaps and bounds globally. How does the league continue to ride that wave? Well, JBA, it's not hurting that you have an MVP that comes from Europe. I mean, Nikola Jokic bringing a lot of tension back to the league with his dominant play over here. But Commissioner Silva continues to explore all the corners in which he can continue to introduce the game introduce the entertainment and introduce the community aspect of what being a partner with the NBA is all about. Ooh, that's a tough spot to be in as a defender. With that height disadvantage, it's very hard to protect the rim. Oladipo, shots good. Absolutely.
ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. Now here's Fultz. Here's Ben Carroll. And again, it's Orlando converting. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Now a timeout called by Miami. Miami's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Hero for 3. Rebound by the Magic. Fultz with it. Pass to Carter. Fires for 3. Adebayo grabs the board. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. And finished off by Adebayo. And Bam just getting way up that time and finishing with ferocity. And for the Magic, they're shooting at a reasonable 46% this fourth. Here's Ben Carroll. He's guarded by Martin. Charity stripe shot. Ben Carroll no good. Uh, the defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. Martin misses. And the Magic shooting 47% in this one. Looking efficient. Wagner, the pass to Carter. Now here's Fultz. To the paint. Here's Wagner. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Now that's how you capitalize on a three. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. The shot by Butler. No good. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. Tremendous effort on the boards. He's been playing big all night. Miami shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Heat. Well, Grant, I don't know if there was one deciding factor in this game, but I'd say shooting accuracy if I had to choose. Agreed, B.A. They really went after quality looks and shot the ball with confidence. And this will give them win number 32 on the year so far. And once this game is all said and done, they'll have a healthy 2-0 lead in this season series. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Jimmy Butler. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. Out of bio from long range. The shot comes out. Now Orlando takes it the other way. 
And here's Fultz to the inside. Carter, yet another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Hero right side over Harris. Gets a hand on it, controls the rebound and the putback. And the Heat lead by 19. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. And it's slammed in by Carter. And where was this type of effort earlier in the game? Well, unfortunately, this run will be all for nothing. Consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams. And tonight, they just did not find it in this contest. Now here's Wagner. Goes up at the strike. And Orlando again with the bucket. Fantastic assist by Harris on the play. He makes the right call, rotating the ball on that one. On the mark with the 15-footer. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. Now here's Fultz. So no problem for Miami as they get the win. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Jimmy, you had it going. How big did that hoop look tonight? It looked pretty big. That's what I pride myself on. My teammates kept giving me the ball, even when I didn't want the ball, telling me to score, be aggressive. We got teammates like that, their confidence is through the roof. They know who their leader is, no doubt about it. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Berry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.